What's up, guys? I want to talk a little bit about Con J West. And let's go now. This is not a two minute Tuesday. First off, guys, this is this conversation is longer than two minutes. Secondly, it's not Tuesday. And that's cool. Guys, Kanye West, I've been getting questions, emails, calls. Is this conversion legit? Do you think God's really doing this? Do you think this is a publicity stunt? Do you think this is a money grab? You know what? I wasn't going to talk about this. I was just going to let it be. But I do think, based on the amount of questions I've been asked, I think it's time to address this. So I want to go into the good and the bad of Kanye West conversion. Number one, I do believe Kanye's conversion experience or his experience with God is real. Number one, listen to the lyrics in Jesus is King album. It's the, the, when I first heard it, I remember listening and he's quoting scripture and it's different things he's saying. I'm like, you know what? Just hearing this, I'm believing this is real. I'm believing that God really touched his life. But then you listen to the interviews and the things he's saying, it's like, you know, God is touching him. But then I've heard people say, hey man, you know, I've heard that he's slipping up. He's saying this and it's not real. Do you know his past? And I want to ask you this question. Do you remember how you were when you first got saved? He may slip up in an interview. He may slip up and may disappoint a lot of Christians in the future. But the thing is, doesn't mean that God isn't working in his life. And I believe that's evident. But which goes to my next point. Number two, we as the church and as Christians should encourage him and pray for him. Guys, I remember when I first hearing about uh, Sunday services. And this was even before I heard about the Jesus is King album coming out I remember watching some of the videos and seeing people uh, coming out to this and it was amazing because uh, you would see people I mean, it wasn't a traditional church service by any means but people were like lifting their hands people were coming out not because they want to go to church service but because Kanye was doing an event there and what's amazing was you would see people like, lifting their hands and giving their life to Jesus and I remember watching this and telling my wife I said you know what would be interesting is if if this is how the next Great Awakening comes in America, if this is uh, this is the person, if this is a way God wants to bring an outpouring of His Spirit in, as uh, history would call a Great Awakening into America through Kanye's Sunday service, like God, you always see in history, when church history, revival history, whenever there was an outpouring of God's Spirit, uh, and there was a vast, huge impact, like the Welsh Revival, where uh, I think it's 100,000 people gave their life to Jesus in nine months. I mean, it's incredible. You definitely read up on the Welsh Revival. And if you guys, uh, you know, I'll actually put a link uh, to a great book about the Welsh Revival, so I'll definitely recommend reading it. But the amazing thing was, it got always used someone that wasn't, ex like people didn't expect, the religious order didn't expect. You see it in, even the Bible, Josiah, who's a young boy, rediscovered the Word of God. You see uh, Evan Roberts, no one expected an outpouring of spirit through Evan Roberts, or, or Paul, for example. I mean, Paul, this guy who's murdering Christians, Saul of Tarsus, God uses him to a point that even Christians were skeptical of, oh, is this real? Is this guy have an ulterior motive? And I think we're doing that right now with Kanye. There's believers that are questioning and saying, is, God, is this really God? Is this is there an ulterior motive to why Kanye is coming to us? As believers probably at that time said, is there an ulterior motive as to why Saul of Tarsus is coming to us? Is this real? Is this really what God is doing? God always uses people that the religious order or people who are in the church didn't expect. I think we're seeing that with Kanye West. And what's exciting to me is what if this is who God wants to use to see an outpouring of His Spirit. Now, I don't believe, honestly, on a personal note, I don't believe God's just going to use one person. I believe it's going to be through a, a generation, to be honest with you. But, you know, what if this is the person that God wants to use? I mean, let's just ask a question. What if what if it's Kanye? You know, God's not a respecter of persons. God doesn't uh, doesn't look for the, the the person, the perfect suit, and the, the seminary degree. I'm not knocking anybody in a perfect suit or seminary degree. But that's not typically the, the revivalist mantle. John the Baptist, look at John the Baptist. This guy wears camel's hair and goes out eating locusts and honey. And he doesn't even preach in, in an auditorium. He goes out to the, the wilderness where no one is. And, and crowds of people are giving their life in repentance and getting baptized. So what if... What if this is who God wants to use? So I think we ought to encourage him. We ought to pray for him. I believe what God is doing in his life is exciting and amazing. And I think we should pray for him because that's what we do as a church. We stand and we pray for one another, our brothers and sisters in Christ. But here is my third point. And it's this. This is the bad. Kanye isn't the church's answer to reach the lost. You are. In 1 Samuel chapter 8, verse 6, Israel was looking for a king because other nations had kings. And they're like, we need a king. 
we need someone to represent us. We need someone to fight for us. And in a weird way, I think the church does this. I think when we, we say, oh, I've been praying for this celebrity. Imagine if this person got saved. Imagine if Justin Bieber got saved, people said a few years ago. Imagine if Kanye got saved. Imagine if uh, so-and-so got saved, the impact it would make. America would change. And I'm not downplaying the impact that would happen, but I dare to think that we sometimes lean in on their influence. But I don't think God is waiting to use their lives to impact the people around you. Kanye may not come to your workplace or to your campus. He may, he may not. People probably do listen to his music there. They may listen to Jesus is King. But do you know who God wants to use to reach your campus or to reach the place that you work at, to reach the coworkers that you're around? He wants to use you. That's why you're there. You are the answer to those people. You are God's solution. Jesus did the work, but his spirit rests on you as well. And so I believe that the world around you will change when you reach the lost, when you bring God encounters wherever you go. We sometimes lean and look for a king when God's saying, hey, you're a royal priesthood and I'm calling you to Matthew chapter 28, go into all the world and preach the gospel and make disciples. I believe God's going to use Kanye to disciple the hip hop culture and community. I believe that God's going to use you to impact and to disciple your workplace, your campus, your sphere of society. Side note, I want to give credit to uh, Sho Baraka because I was watching his video on Kanye and he did mention uh, this point about uh, Israel wanted a king. I thought it was so dope. I want to share with you guys. Uh, totally amazing. So shout out Show Baraka if you're watching this. And I'm going to give you a bonus point. Listen, buy three, get one free. I'm going to give you the fourth point. It's a bonus. Listen, as far as this album is concerned, musically, I'll be honest, I'm not, it's okay. Musically, it's not Kanye's best work, to be honest with you. I'm a huge fan of College Dropout. Um, and I think that some of his earlier albums are amazing as far as the beats are concerned. But I'm totally feeling the lyrics on this album and I love them and it just proclaims God to work and you see God's work in his life through the lyrics in this album. I'm definitely feeling some of the tracks like Follow God and Close on Sunday, Water. I would definitely recommend giving this album a listen. And in the comments below, I'm going to put a link to where you can listen to it on Spotify or Pandora, if Pandora is still around, uh, Amazon Music. I'm going to put a link to these things. But I'm also going to put a link to, uh, to buy the album because honestly, I think uh, we all should support him. Honestly, I, I really do believe that. I think it's a great way. This guy stepped out in faith and stepped out in just being uh, not just not just bold, but just being really open and raw about his relationship with Jesus and his love for Jesus and uh, Sunday services and all. I mean, it's amazing. So I really do think that uh, we should support him. So I'm going to put a, li uh, a link uh, to his album. Go out, check it out, buy it. I think it's worth it. Honestly, the more I listen to it, the more I like it more and more and more. So um, I'm a fan of Jesus is King. And here's what's exciting to me is that he's putting out uh, Jesus is King Volume 2 and Dr. Dre is going to be on it. I think Dr. Dre is producing it. I think he's one of the, uh, probably one of the better, if not one of the best uh, producers in hip, uh, hip hop and rap, especially in the 90s, um, definitely going to, and early 2000s. And I believe uh, Jesus is King Volume 2 is coming out in, uh, around Christmas time. So I'm definitely excited about that. But check out Jesus is King Volume 1. It's definitely worth a listen. And like I said, it'll grow on you. It grew on me. And uh, I love listening to it. So uh, that these are my four points, the good and the bad uh, of Kanye's conversion experience. I'm excited uh, to see what God's doing in his life, but also what God's doing right now in the kingdom on the earth. It's you're living one of the greatest times in history. It's an amazing time to be a part of the kingdom and to do ministry and to be a part of uh, be a part of the kingdom, be a part of Jesus. It's amazing. So, guys, um, I hope this blessed you. I hope this answers some of your questions. Uh, I'm hoping to get back into Two Minute Tuesdays, but let me know what you think of this format. Do you like Do you like this longer format? Do you uh, is this something you you appreciate and like, or did you prefer the two minute format? Please let me know in the comments below. I want to hear it. I definitely want to hear it. If you enjoyed this, uh, help me get the word out. You know, definitely put this out there. Uh, and like if you can like the video as well and if you're on YouTube do me a huge favor subscribe over there would love that that would be huge are huge that would be huge so anyway guys until next time God bless you guys have a great day